Amid all that's going on, President Trump has decided to wade into South African race politics. Oh, no. This is all part of a racist conspiracy theory to prevent a, quote, white genocide. So he divides our country and now he's working on others. Or in this instance, he's he's really trafficking in uh, conspiracy theories to kind of, in some ways, uh, feed red meat to his base. Back to life. Back to reality. Back to reality. In the space of a week in June this year, there were seven farm murders. Or in this instance, he's, he's really trafficking in uh, conspiracy theories. And these cases are horrific, including Pierre and Belinda de Kock, who were murdered on their farm in Picketburg in the Western Cape. Seven farm murders in the space of a week. These people are real. These farm attacks are real and have been happening for several years now. Conspiracy theories. MSNBC really hates white people. So the clip I'm gonna show you today is particularly cancerous. And it comes from MSNBC's professor, more like Grand Wizard, Eddie Glaud, who reacted in a very revealing way in response to a Trump Truth Social post about calls for violence against white farmers in South Africa. Uh, this is nonsense, it's silly, uh, but it's all it's consistent with the kind of cultural warrior that he is with regards to South African white farmers. I think two of them perhaps might have been killed in some instance. Mm -hmm. With regards to South African white farmers, I think two of them perhaps might have been killed in some instance. Unreal. This so-called professor is from Princeton University and teaches African-American history, likely churning out generations of kids with a murderous hatred of white people. Can you even begin to imagine a white person from Fox News laughing about one black person killed for any reason? Their life and career would be over right then. And rightfully so, because laughing at anyone's death just is not normal. But Glaud is laughing because because he sees the deaths of these two white farmers to be meaningless, apparently because Trump talked about it. Deaths that happened after this South African politician and leader of a group called the Economic Freedom Fighters, Julius Malima, rallied huge crowds with the chant of kill the boar, which means kill the white people. Shoot to kill the mother. kill the poor, the farmer, kill the poor. And unsurprisingly, the Democrat state media was quick to defend these chants as no big deal. While just a week earlier, they were calling Jason Aladdin's small town song a call to racial violence. This is the Orwellian hellhole that we're actually living through right now. Honest question, how long before MSNBC gives this guy his own show on Joy Reid's time slot? Hey, hey Lloyd, look, there's some people who want to ride too. Pick them up. Kill the poor, the farmer. The poor, the farmer. And here's the thing about Eddie Glaude's ghoulish chuckling and dismissal of this as a legitimate issue. He's lying. It's been way more than two white farmers. There have been at least five murders of white farmers since August 2nd of 2023. And this isn't even a new problem. It goes back to the late 80s and 90s. The fact is, attacks on white farmers and murders have been steadily rising ever since. Just another reason to turn off your TV, cancel your cable, and don't use any of the products that sponsor these segments because they quite literally hate you. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure to leave a comment to vent those frustrations that I know you have after that clip. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on the next one.